This is CBC Here and Now. Well, the town of Gander held its very first Pride Walk today. The walk took place after the Pride flag was raised at Town Hall and there was quite a crowd. Here and Now's Gara Barry was there. Maybe it was the advertising. We did do a lot of work and sharing it on Facebook and putting the word out there. Um. Or maybe the sunny weather. Whatever the reason, today's Pride ceremony in Gander was the biggest ever. We are so, so excited. As, as we mentioned in our, our speech, um, the last few years, there's only been about five or six people that showed up. Um, but for some reason this year, they came out in hordes and we're super excited about it. We, we want our, our, as we said, we want our LGBTQ plus community to feel supported. And this obviously shows that they are. They're here and they're decked out. We're all good now. <laughs> this was a Friday night. Yeah, it was Wednesday a Friday night. night thing. Yeah, it, uh, this is Pan, Pan Pride. And how long did it take, how long did it take to put together? <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> it was a 3 a.m. thing. Yeah, it was, it was very early in the morning, but uh, maybe eight hours. Yeah, about that. Start to finish, yeah. Gander's Youth Center helped organize this event, trying to let young LGBT people know that they are loved. When I was younger, um, there was a lot of um, popularity or if you were different, it wasn't really accepted or it was shunned to be different. But now, this day and age of thankfully 2018, <laughs> we have a lot more acceptance and people are being more open-minded and learning, which is really nice. After the flag went up, the crowd took to the sidewalk for Gander's first ever Pride Walk. Okay, we're doing so why is this year's crowd so much bigger? We just wanted to take part and have our kids be a part of this and they're all, they know everything, like they're up on the, like all the gay pride and stuff like that, so it's just a wonderful opportunity for them too. Organizers say there's work left to do on LGBT issues, but on this day, in this town, they're celebrating. Garrett Barry, CBC News, Gander.